Hi everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. You probably am looking at me going, what's happened? Well, if you did not see Saturday's video, I just had one of those mornings where I put on foundation and then said, nope, I'm done. <laughs> I was trying a primer that I'm not like in love with and then I put a foundation I'm not in love with but is part of this project so I wanted to finish it. And yeah, this is how it turned out. It's a little light for me. I look kind of cakey. I did not put concealer on. I did not do my eyes or my eyebrows. Like I barely brushed my hair. It's just one of those days where I'm just feeling lethargic, but I love filming YouTube videos, so I get to do this for fun today and still feel productive, even though there's lots of things around my house that need to get done, and I'm not doing any of it. Thank you, Cuckoo Clock. In case you're wondering, it's not three o'clock when I'm filming. I just don't set that to the right time. <laughs> it is actually uh, three and a half hours off, so that's cool. All right. Let's get into it. This is my Sassy Sample Project Pan. I just wanted to use a bunch of samples. I was having too many, to be honest with you. I had too many in my collection. I had 29 that I had picked out for this particular product project, and I did fantastic. Um, I'm going to show you a whole lot of empties, but before I do, because the empties are going to take longer, I'm actually going to show you what I did not use. So I ended up completing and finishing 23 out of 29 samples. Yay. That's not bad for a month. I almost did one a day. There were a couple of days I didn't do it, but there's definitely some specific type of products that I did not use. And that is lip products. <laughs> I've decided I'm not into these lip samples. I'm just not. I'm actually going to give these to a girlfriend. Hopefully they use it. It's not for me. This is the benefit. Punchy, juicy, bright, and bold. Um, liquid lipstick called Punch Pop. I I just cannot make myself use this. I don't know what it is. Um, and then I've got this one from Mary Kay Signature Cream Lipstick. They're not the shades. I actually like both shades. It's the fact that it's in this packaging and I don't care <laughs> to use those. I have so many other lip products I'm more interested in using other than that one. So I've just pushed that aside. Once again, it's just not for me. It's not that type. This poor mask has been in more project pants than I can possibly count. And it's just two masks in here and I don't know what's killing me about it. I've got clay mask on one side and I've got a gel mask on the other side. I don't know why I can't use this. This thing is now so old and I, before I was like, no, if I don't use it, I'm just going to throw it out. Did not throw it out. Still here. Still hanging out. Um, yeah. I, I don't know what to do with this. It's like something is almost stopping me from using it now where I'm like, you know you're not gonna like it. I'm like, why? I've never tried it. I don't know. Um, and then I also, I put in too many foundations in this project. I know it sounds crazy and I'll kind of show what, you what I'm doing here. Um, but this is the Well People. This is just the Tint Moisturizer SPF 30 in the shade Light. I, I still wanna try this actually. This is one that's still on my thing. I just had so many other foundations in this project that I thought that maybe I'd use up faster that I didn't get to this one. So this one was just a timing thing for me. Um, and NARS, this NARS guy, this is the perfect pair, and in here is their 16-hour radiance foundation. Um, you'll see here, I've got one out as well. It's just these little, like, packages here. I have Mont Blanc on my face. This is what I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> this looks cakey on me and I'm so surprised because I feel like this foundation should have been made for me <laughs> like I don't know um you can see I, I'm keeping I'm I'm hoping I know Mont Blanc is too light for me clearly when I put it on the first time I didn't not realize that but when you open these there are three uses in each of these two to three depending on the look you're going for so this is my second day, actually this is my third day using it because I put it on kind of lighter today. I didn't like it any three days and I did try different primers. Like it's not that I used a primer that I wasn't in love with on all of them. Like I used primers that I actually liked too and I still didn't love it. Um, and then I did use the concealer in the shade Vanilla. However, this little thing probably has a week's worth of foundation the way I use foundation in it. I use foundation very sparingly. I basically do two dots to three dots, just like boop, 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 like in the lightest touch. And there's so much in here. 
So I'm calling this undone because I, I do want to use this sample just to make sure it's not a color issue that I really just don't like the formula. And then the concealer, the vanilla, I have about half of it left. It's a hot mess. I can't show it to you. It is a hot mess. But I'm going to pass this on because I don't like this and I'm hoping somebody else can use the other shades. Um, I have the pink tones in here, which is Vienna, Yucatan, I've got Salzburg, and Fiji, which is golden tone. But yeah, I'm going to just give that to somebody else and see if they could do anything with it. But I did not finish that either. Is there anything else I didn't finish? Oh yes, I have one skincare product I'm still working on, and that is the Kate Spade? No, that's not right. I wrote Kate Spade down on I bet it's Kate Somerville. <laughs> Kate Somerville, the retinol and vitamin C serum. I used it last night for the first time. I like it. I thought it was fine. There's nothing wrong with that product. Um, it made my face feel good. I feel nice and tight in this morning. Like, no qualms about that product. I just have another night of it left in there. And when things are open, like little foil packets, I don't like to bring them into my like living room because then they tend to spill everywhere. So yeah. So those are the six products I didn't finish, but everything else is done. Yay. Go me. I'm so excited because this like gets a lot of trash out of my bathroom <laughs> so I can move on to other things like full-size products. So let's go kind of start at the beginning of how to do your makeup. First things first, I finished this gold mask. This is by a German god called Shabens, and it is a gold mask. It's the luxurious mask with gold. I don't know what this does, but it's really fun to use because it has gold flakes in it and it kind of makes your face all glittery. I don't think I need to repurchase it, but I liked it. Cleansing. Okay, I finished both my cleansers. Both of these had two uses, each in them. Um, and you probably could have just used one and been fine. This one was nice. This deep dive makeup removing gel cleanser. This is by Tarte, Rainforest of the Sea, sold by Sephora. This was actually a really nice cleanser. It took off my makeup in a snap and it did really good with my mascara. And then this one was the Kiehl's Soul Care Golden Cleanser with Manuka Honey and Turmeric. Um, I have... Like, I'm wearing these patches right now on my stomach, and this did not take the glue off that. <laughs> no, this doesn't say it's meant to do that, but I was kind of hoping this would, like, at least take off the stickiness a little bit. It didn't. It felt good on my face, but there was nothing outstanding about this one. I don't think I'd pay the price for that one. Um, not that it didn't help. It just didn't do amazing. I think that'd be better for super oily skin, to be honest with you, because um, your face felt clean, but I just didn't need that style of cleanser. Lotions. Oh my gosh, did I go through lotions this time? I went through so many. The Indie Lee Brightening Cream, Strawberry Leaf, and Squalene. I did not see a difference in the two days I used this. I know that that's not enough time to really see a difference, but I'll tell you, it smelled good. <laughs> that's, that's what I have to say about that. This one I like surprisingly more than I thought I was going to. This is a Pharmacy Honey Halo. Um, this was offered to me in a FabFitFun box, but I wasn't truly interested in it until I tried the sample, and I'm kind of like, maybe I should have chosen that for my FabFitFun box. <laughs> but I ended up skipping it. You guys, you didn't see it here because I ended up skipping it. There was nothing in there that I really wanted, so. Or at least nothing that I really wanted by the time I got to it. I got to it at like 12 and like all the choices that I wanted were gone. So note to self, I'm going to set my alarm and do it in like the first 30 minutes like I did the time before because then I got everything I wanted and this time I got like nothing I wanted. So I decided it was a no-go for me. And this... I'm going to keep in mind. This one felt really nice. This is the Dermalogica Skin Smoothing Cream. Uh, I did think this one was really nice. I do think it did like soften my skin, which is nice. I like this one. Um, some of the ingredients aren't my favorite in here, but there's a lot of like extracts and things like that, which isn't bad. There's just a lot of like I don't know. There's just a lot of different stuff in here. It's a huge list. Um, Fresh, the Lotus Youth Preserving Eye Cream. Did I like it? It was fine. I didn't think anything was wrong with it. I tend to like vitamin C around my eyes, and this, I thought, was standard eye cream material for me. Um, and then I've got the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. This stuff is a cult classic for a favorite. I do like it. I don't think, in terms of lactic acid, it's like the end-all, be-all. Like, I think there are other similar products out there. Um... But I liked it. I thought it was good. And I think if you need like a very strong lactic acid, then it's fantastic. If you just need a basic lactic acid, save your money. Then I have two primers. I have the NYX, the Marshmallow Primer. Love this stuff, actually. Love this a lot more than I thought I was going to. 
I remember I gave a sample of this away being like, oh, it's so overdone, I don't care anymore. No, it's really nice. <laughs> it's really nice. So I'm glad I had this to actually try it. And then I actually got another sample of it. So I'm excited to like actually keep it and use it more. And then the Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer with Shea Butter, Macadamia Seed Oil, and Plant Derived Silicone. Um, I don't think anything was bad about this. I don't think this is like the best primer for me. This is one of the primers I used underneath that NARS foundation and I found that the NARS foundation moved around a little bit by the end of the day, especially on like my nose area and my chin. This is where I get the most wear is like this area right here on my face. And I felt, and it's literally like right on the tip. I've got like a little button nose <laughs> and I must play with it <laughs> because I always have wear here, like right on the tip. And then I have wear right here on my chin. And this didn't keep it in line. I thought it was moisturizing. I just don't know if it primed as best as some of my other primers. All right, foundations, Morphe. Do I have a set for it? Yes, Morphe, boom. This is what the outside looks like. This is the Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation. I don't think they sell this anymore, but I also could only use the bottom row here. This is all fair. This is what they gave me for light, which is interesting because this is called light. <laughs> doesn't say fair to light, it just says light. Um, so I, these are all too light for me. Like this, these, this, this won't work. But I ended up using these three. They are all gone. Um, I've got them here. I tried like F110, I, F1.120, F1, whatever. I use the light ones. I don't think this foundation was bad. I also did not love this foundation. I did. There was just something about it. After using Fenty, this did not stack up against Fenty. So I'm not gonna use this one. I can't get it anymore anyways. So I'm gonna give this to, give the rest to a girlfriend, see if she wants it. But there were two uses out of each of these packets. Again, kind of surprising with how small they were that that was two uses. I was thinking it was just gonna be one, right? And I'd be like, boom, three days and you're good to go. No, this was six days <laughs> worth of foundation to use. And then NARS being two to three days, you can see why in two weeks, I wasn't able to finish all this foundation. So it was just like a little too much for me. Uh, I did finish both of the other Fenty foundations. Again, two to three uses out of this guy too. Like I had planned a full month of foundation just by using my samples. <laughs> but Fenty definitely won out of the three. In terms of the blurring, in terms of the coverage, it's medium to full coverage. It's exactly what I want and need. It just made my skin look healthy and look its best. This is what I'm gonna stick with. I was pleasantly surprised I could wear multiple colors of Fenty without people like shouting me out that it didn't match. So that's cool. <gasps> Someone else is mowing their lawn. Hey mower, I mowed the other day, I beat you. <laughs> I am, I'm gonna go build um, a flower bed later, so that's exciting. But that is all of my empties. I'm so excited to throw this stuff out, um, get the trash out of my bathroom. I feel like it's decluttered like so much of my bathroom, just like getting these samples out. And I'm excited to go back to using full sizes because I have a lot of them and I am ready to make some dents in them, especially some foundations that have been here for quite a while. So Charlotte Tilbury, Fenty, I see you. Let's get into some good foundation. And thank you so much for watching. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.